Hey guys, Foxtrot here with a live game commentary. This is the first video I'm doing in a new series, which is going to be an ELO Hell series. Basically, this is my account, which is it is unranked at the moment. Um, I'm in my placement games, but everyone that I get matched with is around bronze ELO. So this is basically uh, the the most the thing which I get asked a lot about you, uh, from you guys is all the stuff about how to carry at low elo, you know, people that don't listen to you, people that go and throw all the time, that feed, that, you know, just flame, all that kind of stuff, which you guys say happens in all of your games. Well, I'm here to try and guide you through this horrible elo hell, as you guys like to describe it as. So, I'm not doing this to, like, stomp people. I don't really... It, you know, it's fun to win, but I don't really get that much enjoyment out of just winning. I get more enjoyment out of being challenged and just kind of, like, improving on my... Like, if I wanted... To, I'd rather just play a good game on my main account than play on this account, really. But regardless, I thought I'd, this would be... This would be nice a nice video series for you guys. So, my Runes Masteries, because this is not... Like these, are, they won't be ideal because this isn't my, you know, this account probably doesn't have too many runes on it. So I think they're like, I think I've got armor pen reds, maybe like two attack speed reds, attack speed blues, armor yellows, and AD quints. So I don't. So they're not going to be the perfect page, but it still should be good. And Shaco is another is a character which you guys wanted to see me play a bit more because he is one of my favourite characters, and he's fun to watch. And uh, hopefully, I can do him justice. Although I will, I will warn you that I am playing horribly <laughs> today. Uh, I just really suck. So hopefully, I should still get a good game in, but um. I probably won't play perfectly, and uh, but still, I'm just gonna help. Hopefully, I shall help you guys in being able to get out of you know your hell, or whatever. Just little little things that you can be doing. So Shaco, very very aggressive jungler, and I'm playing versus a Warwick, and Warwick is perfect for me to invade. Warwick is like just so weak. I mean, he he's just there's no one more perfect for Shaco to invade. Why? Because he's so slow. He's just so slow at jungling, meaning you can just bully him around pretty much all you want. And at low elo, that's pretty much all you can ask for. I mean, you don't need to... People aren't going to be helping. He's not going to get any help from his laners. Now, I did deliberate into whether or not I want to invade him at his red just there, but I really want level 3 on Shaco before I invade. I just... I just hate... I don't really like invading without level 3, so I'm... I got level 3 first. So now I'm level 3 and I'm looking, I'm hunting down this Warwick, I can probably get this Talon afterwards as well, but let me just go see what Warwick's up to. He should have done his red by now, so probably shouldn't be here, but it should be around here. Okay, his red's still up, I'm not quite sure what he's doing. I'm going to put another box down here, just so I have good vision of him when he does come. There he is. What the f- What the hell? He just like warped across my screen, that was really peculiar. Alright, so I'm going to give him a few seconds. He's probably really scared of me. This would be a bad time to gank Talon, so let's do it. Only bad because of how many creeps there are. He's going to flash right into that box. Okay, he didn't, but he's dead anyway. Just three, three easy kills. Now I'm going to go take a look at what Warwick's doing. I think he's doing his raid as we speak. Nope, but he's here. Oh, he's level three though. Flash the wrong direction, I should still be able to kill him. Wow, he might survive that, that was well played. Wow, that was really unlucky actually by me, but well played by him. He queued me, I got too close to him. I got too close to him so that he could just eat me. He could just queue me, sorry. Oh well, so I didn't get the kill on him, but I took his red buff away, so it's still not too bad. And we get another point in my W now just to like clear a bit faster because that's pretty much the worst thing about Shaco are oh, his clear speeds. He's really slow at clearing. So I'm going to take away his race as well here. I know his golems probably are not because that's where he came from when he actually came to this rep buff. Right, Vigar's recalling. But his talent is still a free kill. Shit, okay. 
that was very ballsy by Vigo. It's a shame we used my ignite on Warwick because I couldn't secure the kill. Warwick will come mid though, like he shouldn't because he can't he can't actually do anything to me. As soon as I see him I'm gonna run away from him. Shit. As soon as I see him I'm gonna run away from him. If I if I died here to that, oh my god, that would be utterly atrocious. There he is, look. I already put a box down there just so I knew he'd be there, but he can't do anything to me because he's Warwick. Like, he, without level 6, Warwick can't do anything. This flat out can't do anything. Hopefully, I don't die here. Holy crap, that's close. Now I'm going to recall. So, what I'm going to buy is if you want to, you know, for a good item build, you should look at my uh, Shaka guide. It's still pretty, it's still a pretty decent guide. However, there is, there is kind of like one change which I like to do nowadays, and that is I really enjoy buying. I really like buying uh, flask on Shaco, Crystalline flask, because it, it just like, he has no real sustain. He has mana issues when he's clearing. So when I get a flask, it only puts you behind like 300 or gold. Like it's it's worth it. You know, it's not that bad. There, there is a downside to it though, and that is this is something I kind of I'm still playing around with basically. And the reason the downside, which I'm gonna uh, illustrate now, is that it's gold wise, it's worth it, but. It's, it's Shaco. At the end of the day, it's Shaco. So, Shaco needs to... He needs to snowball. Like, he needs to carry early. He needs to be strong early. And when you're spent... Anytime you spend gold on... Which are, which won't directly improve like, your damage, your effectiveness, stuff like that. You know, it's risky on Shaco. This is warded. I can't really gank, but... I don't think it's warded on this ramp, though. So, I might just, like, sit here... I literally sit here and wait for him to show up mid again and then just go out over this wall here. He's so scared, like what the fuck? He's dead again though. That was like a perfectly timed stun with the with the fear. I'm gonna shove this lane out now. Shouldn't I uh, be last hitting just cause uh he's dead. So if we push gonna lose it all. I'm gonna let Vigar finish that because I'm gonna go do his blue buff now. His blue buff should have spawned looking at the time. Okay, this Jack Warwick's here. He's gonna run into my box and he's just gonna die. Don't know why he was up there but I bet this was actually kind of risky by me because if they come I'm dead. I was waiting for the the card. I was waiting for the TP. So yeah, now because I've got, I had my flask. Because I had my flask, I am healthy. I can just go in and take my own, my own buffs now. There we go. So now I'm really, I'm only three assists in. Um, I've only done stuff to mid lane as well, so I'm not overly hum humongously fed, but I'm in a I'm in a powerful position. And something which uh, at lower elo as well, like they're just people are kind of predictable. Um, and really, the lane phase is is easier to play when you're a jungler at lower lower elo. Oh, look at this the old classic rage invade. They're easier to predict at lower elos. Lane phase is easier, but in general. It's no, uh, this guy's just gonna get class. Um, poor Warwick. I actually want this kill. Good. Good, good, good. So I, I keep trying to make a point, but stuff is happening, you know? Um, basically, late game is where you need to carry on at Lorelo. Like, you just need to you need to catch people out, you need to coordinate your team, stuff like that. Um, which is why people, people are usually good at lane phase, like they'll get fed during the lane phase, but they won't know how to carry to carry the mid game, the late game. They don't know how to stop their teammates from getting caught. They don't know how to really organise their teammates. So that's something which you need to do when you're playing solo queue. And I should be able to get a double kill here. Multitasking like a boss. Dying almost like a boss. I actually didn't even realise I was getting hurt so much. I wasn't even popping a potion. There you go. 
going. So we get those two kills. Jack's killed top as well, which is nice. But I mean, if imagine I wasn't doing anything. Like, if I didn't have any impact on this game, um, our bot lane would probably be feeding. Like they would have fed there. They would have just died. Maybe both of them would have died, but definitely at least one of them. And so without me there, they would have just fed two for zero. And mid lane, I get like this mid probably would be losing. Just not because he's a bad player by any means. He's not a bad player. Um, he's played very well as far as coordinating. My gangs has gone, but he, he's he's Vigar versus Talon, and you don't pick Talon to not win lane. You don't pick Talon and then go even against a Vigar. You, you you pick Talon to dominate lanes, so he would probably be feeding as well. And those kind of characters are very very good at low reload, just because they dominate people and then it all kind of snowballs out of control. He's still on it. This works still on level four, bless him. So I am having a good impact on this game, and the first time that I'm gonna buy. It, Gonna be my Bay of Rune King. I'm kind of tempted to get a, the new Riggles, just to kind of try it out a little bit. I've actually I buy it on Lee Sin, and I actually really like it on him. Um, so we'll see if it's good on Shaco too. The only the biggest reason I don't like getting other life steal items on Shaco is just because I already get Bay of Rune King. Like I don't want to go overkill on life steal. There's no point. Like you want a small-ish amount of life steal. And you, you want to be getting more damage rather than more life steal itself. I see you pink this Sona, so I'm going to pink it too. I don't think these guys can't stop me. Uh, I want to tank this just so that my clone has the highest uptime possible. If I got my clone to tank this, it would die really quickly and I'd lose all its DPS. I'm gonna die now anyway, so I may as well tank it. There you go. Ideally, I wouldn't want my box tanking either, so let's find a second mistake. And there you go, there's the dragon. And 1151 drag, so that would be 1651 drag. Come here, Talon. There we go, no problem, Vigar. Just like that, Talon blows his flash. I haven't done anything top lane. That's actually one of my, my biggest weaknesses is that I often don't do enough top lane considering how heavily heavily influenced top lane can be by junglers. I probably should be doing more but I've done enough elsewhere though it's cool. And I'll just keep... And this is something which often doesn't show up in your score uh, is all the stuff you've counter jungled, you know, all the pressure you've had, things which don't show up on the scoreboard. Like the fact this Warwick is now scared to step even an inch into his jungle. Because he knows that I could be there, and if I am there, he's gonna die. So, you know, that's something which, and and like that talent was trying to play so passive early, because he knew if I were there, I'd just kill him. And even though I, you know, I actually was there, and I did kill him anyway, but still, like, he's very scared. And, and like right now, this boy is called out of position. And I'm just, I'm watching the lanes here. He thinks I'm on low health, and he can kill me, but he can't. I'm just watching to see if anyone's coming for me. And bot lane might be coming, so. Whoa, what was that? Oh, holy crap. Look, I got <laughs> I got the sound effects from Vigar's ultimate. Like, even though it wasn't on my screen, I should probably be pushing mid. Yeah, that's my bad. I'm, I'm not paying attention because I'm talking. But yeah, the sound the sound effect for his ulti just popped up on my screen. I heard it and I was like, what the? But I couldn't see it, which is why it scared the crap out of me. Just gonna get this. This is actually a pretty bad habit, which I'm... A bad thing which I'm doing right here is that I'm taking away this buff but then I'm just going to recall. Like, there's no point taking away your buffs if you're just going to recall anyway. The only exception being is if you think someone's going to steal it away from you. And I don't think, like, I'm not afraid of anyone stealing it away from me so there's no real point me taking it that early. So I'm just wasting the duration of it. I already had a red as well like yeah that that was that was just a wait. it's just wasted duration. I shouldn't have done it. Um, but I would just yeah. I guess I at least I have it fresh for when I'm coming out of the uh, my base now, but you know I've wasted a quarter of its duration, so that wasn't very good. And this work has is still only level five, 14 minutes in, which is not ideal for him. And I might be able to kill him again. This talent sees me. He might be able to stop me. Though I will just kill him. I'm gonna kill him too. 
Where's he going? Straight towards this tower. Easy peasy. See, the people don't... When you're playing Shackle, you want to be very, very aggressive, like I say. Like, which is very, you know, me saying that is very obvious. You want to be extremely aggressive, but you, you know, always need to be looking for those opportunities where just to catch people up. People are just like, imagine if you're a Warwick, right? If you were playing Warwick, I can imagine a lot of you guys would be like, oh, my teammates never help me. What do I do when I get counter jungled? Which is, you know, all, all well and good, but I'm not saying that hasn't happened. Like, this Warwick hasn't had the best help from his team. However, that's not really, you know, it's still the reason why he's behind is more his fault than anyone else but more importantly it doesn't matter if the enemies you know if you're like if you were this warwick and you're saying my, my allies don't come and help me like that doesn't really matter we got you got to think about it from my point of view like i'm like the enemies don't help their teammates that's basically what you got to think about you're, just, you're not got to think about oh my goodness elo hell uh, allies never help me. It's not about that. It's about enemies don't help either. Like you've got the, the same skill level on the enemy team as are on, on as are as are on your team as well. So if people aren't helping you on your team, chances are they're not going to help the enemy the enemies either. Like the people have the exact same skill. Well, pretty much you know similar skill levels across the board. So if they're doing something bad on your team, chances are they're not they're probably going to be doing something equally bad on the enemy team. I probably shouldn't use my shield. I, I just wasted a lot of money there for no real reason, and I should be going back as well. But I want I want 1,000 gold so I can get my blaze rune king. If this lane can shove though, we can just dive these guys so easy. This guy might be dead. Shove, 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 shove. Fuck! Oh, I could be dead. No mercy. <laughs> too aggressive. I didn't expect TF there, but you know that was apart from my huge bounty, it was totally worth it because we got the tower. And yeah, like I was kind of I was a bit too low just because I hadn't gone back in time. But I just I just didn't expect TF. Like that was just a bit too ballsy by me. Still not too bad. Like I say, got the tower worth it. I'm gonna buy a shiv now. Get a bit of attack speed. Rid of attack speed for my build. I've already got a lot of damage. Obviously, about the Rune really King gives you attack speed, but just a little bit more. And look how fed this, like how strong this Vigo is. The reason why he's so strong, pretty sure it's just because of what I was doing to his lane in mid. I, I got him so so fed. This works seems to be going for the ultimate regeneration build, where he's got his passive, his Q, a vamp scepter, a wriggles, and health potions. Like this guy is. <laughs> It's going for extreme, the extreme regen build. Oh, I've DC'd again. Why is this happening? My net sucks today. Oh, okay, I got all the last hits anyway. DC, get all the last hits. That's how we roll. Maybe I should. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to press any buttons. I'm just going to get all the last hits. Okay, I missed one. That's not good. Come on, don't miss the cat. Oh wow, wow, report. Okay, that wasn't cool. When you miss the cannon, like that's that's not cool. You can't miss the cannon. I, I relied on you. I relied on you, AI, to control my Shaco and hit everything. And you miss the cannon. That is the last time I ever go AFK expecting to get all the CS ever again. Can't trust nobody these days. I really don't want to give this Jax red just because like I'm really strong. He doesn't need the red buff. Considering I can just dominate people with it. This TF is kind of lucky that I've not been on his face this game. Yeah, but I'm here now, so it's cool. I made up for it. Just applying pressure onto these side lanes. I'm keeping... Oh, I would say I'm just keeping TF here, but it doesn't really matter at all. I'm just pushing this down just because I want to get objectives. I know my team can kind of handle themselves because I've got them fed enough from before. So I'm not too worried. Like, I don't need to just group up and stick with them. Because I know they, they don't need me to group with them. I'm missing all these last hits talking. It's pretty embarrassing, actually. No. Oh, okay. That actually worked. That's cool. 
My farm is pretty good this game as well. I've got 100 CS. More farm than Arash has. Just because I'm I've used my time pretty well this game. I usually struggle to get CS when I'm playing Jacko, but I'm doing well. I'm keeping a, a like I'm keeping a real eye on this bot lane just to see if something happens. Because if something does happen, I'm close enough to run down and then like mop everything up if they do get so if something bad happens. We don't need drag. Don't need rag. Don't need no rag. We just need the objectives. I knew this. Like, I don't think he really understands. Like, it doesn't matter how, how low I am. I, not he can't really kill me. I've got my flask. And I, shit, I could actually be dead there now because I'm not. Oh my goodness, I'm probably gonna die here. But I'm just distracting them so bad. I wish I had slightly more health. If I had more health so that he couldn't insta give me, I'd kill him. 100%. He just silenced me. And oh my goodness, I'm so dumb. I had the outplay planned in my head and I didn't think about the silence. I am the worst player in the world. An enemy has been slain. Holy shit. I am... I am so bad at this game. That oh my goodness, I'm just I'm just awful. I should I should just leave this game. I should I should just uninstall this game. Not even, you know, I'll I'll just be like yeah, I'll be like peace. I'll I'll, I'll press stop on the recording. I'll release the video in this in its little part and then just just peace out and go somewhere else. Maybe I'll go play like Minecraft or something, RuneScape. Something which doesn't require skill or any kind of brains. Because that doesn't seem to be my strong point today. Is my ult up? It's almost up. Let's find an enemy. I'm gonna go push bot. Pop me flask. Him dead, they probably can't defend anything. Don't need drag, like okay. Like to be fair, probably the best thing about taking drag is that it removes it as an objective for your team. People at lower relos really, really value dragon and stuff like that, and which is why it's such a interesting. I don't know. It's just, it's interesting is probably the, not the right word for it, but a lot of stuff could happen at dragon which really shouldn't happen. Like people always try to defend it a bit too much. They get. Yeah, they, they get too focused on defending it when they shouldn't defend it, or taking it when they shouldn't take it. But, I mean, if, if we can take it away, then... Okay, we're fighting here. This might not be the best with Vigar dead, but it should probably still work. Oh no, that's good. Oh no. That was that was pretty well played actually. I don't know whether I can kill this guy before the whole team turns up. I probably could have actually. No, bro. Uh, so why are you hit me? If I, had, nah, I, I don't know. I would have been risky. I just I don't want to humiliate myself again. We kind of do need to go ballsy on Shaco, but I think that would have been too ballsy. Maybe if I had like red buff or, or blue buff or something, I would have had more confidence in my ability to take that. But I should have killed uh, Talon. But I think as he eat away, it might have. It looked like it negated all of my damage, all of the damage from my my shiv, but it probably didn't. That's probably just a hex drinker shield. But he, it was good because I was I was about to finish him off and I didn't get to. funny how this Jax is complaining that we need to push mid when he's the one 
wanted to take away Dragon so badly. But I mean, he's got a point. We could we could be doing stuff to finish this game, but yeah, I didn't see him there. I could have killed him. That's really bad. That's just impatience by me. We can just take away Dragon, like Baron, like you know, just literally just decide to do Baron and take away. Although I probably can't now. This is what people are saying all the time about throwing. Um, it, I mean, obviously that's a throw by Vigar just because he was he's face checking things which he shouldn't be. But we don't. It, it's not really all his fault because I should have killed Warwick before. I should have been with him. Like you, can't, you do need to babysit your your you know your players. They they are going to get caught. They get caught all the time. So you need to be with them. And that right there, I don't really. You know, if I were Vigar, I'd be like, oh crap, that was done by me, obviously. So it, it is kind of his fault, but at the same time, I'm not going to rage at him for it. Because I personally, I, I know that if I had got that warp before, which I definitely should have, that wouldn't have happened. How much, why is he... Okay, he's got a ban... Right, okay, he's got a Banshee's Veil, apparently. I really want TF to just walk this way. Talk this way. There he is. One's he gonna... Oh. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. That was planned. No problem me staying on this health though, I just die. Get my alacrity. That was kind of actually a good fight for us. I mean, I'm not going to pretend that that was good by me, that was awful by me. I could have insta-gibbed him, but instead I mucked up and uh, I was spamming my Blaze Ruin King smart cast and I was pressing Crystalline Flask instead. That's probably why that wasn't going off. But it was a very ballsy play regardless. I kind of got away with it though. And we actually kind of turned around for something good. But our team is not good for taking down towers themselves. Like. I can't even really tower dive too much. I need like I need an infinity edge so I can tower dive, which is what I'm gonna get next. I'm gonna get an infinity edge, but this game really should be should have been over like ten minutes ago to be honest. I'm pretty fed. So it's kind of on me to finish the game. By the way, this is like a and also a misconception, which I should just point out. Um without you know sounding like a douchebag as best I can, but and um, what Jax is saying about just group pushing mid and finishing, that's not really the way you... I mean, it's it's 50% correct, but it's not really the way to finish a game. You don't just force a mid and like play Aram or something. It's, it doesn't really work like that. I'm just trying to hope... I'm trying to see if I can catch Varus off here, because if I can... Or at least blow his ult. If he doesn't have his flash up, he'll probably die. Actually, don't... I don't really want to die this. I'm just, I'm not going to get stunned in the tower, fuck that. Man. Let's just get Baron. We can't push that tower down. Varus will just wave clear it with his Q and his E, so we'll just take Baron here. I understand why she wants to go back because she's got no mana, but she doesn't need it at all. I've got Blade of the Ring King, so I do this quick enough. And obviously, she just has a basic attack. Although, we're not doing this as quick as I'd like. Going down, keep your eye on the prize. Just run out. I can deceive over the wall, so I'm not really worried about myself. <laughs> that would be car. Just used. Has he got his like laugh and like bound to his, to his uh, ulti key or something? Because he's used his ult and I heard him cackling. That's pretty. That's pretty funny if he did though. So we lost. We lost one member. We lost our support. They lost their uh, TF. So definitely worth it as well from that point of view. And obviously we got Baron. So we got the Baron, and with Baron we should be able to forge even better pushes, offenses. 
So I'm gonna go and push bot again now. Like this is kind of like the way it goes, you know. Some some people push mid, some people push bot, and eventually, almost for like a war of attrition to an extent, we push things down. But we don't have great tower pushes, so it doesn't work perfectly. It's just it's more about I don't know, just getting getting opportunities, you know, just creating, creating opportunities, keeping keeping in their face. And eventually pushing things down. It's not perfect, like I say, because we don't have great tower pushes, but still good. And people will always get caught out of position. I just this is one of the downsides of Shaco as well, is that he can't really push down towers on his own if there's someone defending it under the tower, so it's kind of risky. It's kind of difficult to do that, but I should be able to take things down pretty easily now, to be honest. I mean, I've got a lot of damage. He takes them down fairly quickly, which is a plus side, but I don't care too much about that to you. There we go, so I've drawn two people to come to me now as well, and they're not even going to get anything out of it. And if I can stay around, scare them. I wanted to, I used my ground on that just because I wanted to kill him before he went invisible. And it worked. So I draw people around, someone comes down and boom, kill them. Even if someone didn't come down, like, it doesn't matter, we would have probably taken this tower. If not, I'd have taken bot tower. There we go, that's the surrender bot. Okay, so I didn't play, I didn't play amazing this game. Um, but I think I, you know, obviously played well enough to win the game. And if this is me playing poorly, then, you know, I can, I can be playing a lot better. Then it, there's a lot of stuff, you know, which you guys can still carry with, you know, if, if I carry pretty convincingly and you guys are just saying, oh, be your darn one player, Fox Rock, it's like, yeah, well, you know, obviously that's true, but I didn't play great, I didn't play Darwin one level by any stretch of the imagination this game, so I'm not, I wasn't just stomping people, um, definitely some things I could have done better and I've mucked up a few times, but anyway, I hope this video was slightly useful, um, just getting a bit of insights into ELO Hell, whatever you want to call it, on how to carry at lower ELO and stuff like that. Um, if you did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a comment or like, thumbs it up or something, or just any feedback is cool. And then you, you can also, if you wish to, you can follow me on my, on my social medias, on like my, my Facebook, on my Twitter, my Nook, or follow me on Twitch, my stream. All of those links in the description. Uh, but thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you found it useful, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video.